Hello everyone, welcome to a revised Frequently Asked Questions training video for Ad Climber. We're going to go over some questions as far as how to use the software successfully and what you can expect out of it and some tips and tricks for how to utilize our auto posting functions for Facebook Marketplace and LetGo. So let's start off with making an ad for Facebook. So the first thing we're going to do is click create an advert and choose whatever category you prefer. I um, often select dealer um, to give me something that I can utilize for Craigslist as well on our system. So once we're in here, we'll choose a category such as furniture and we will click continue. And there are some primary fields to type in here. So if you were only using this for Facebook Marketplace to post you know, 20 to 50 ads a day in that zone, um, you can simply use the software with these green sections as well as price and location. So this upper section is only necessary for Craigslist alone. So let's start here and create an ad. After we have a title, it is necessary to put in a price for Facebook. They will not accept your ad if you do not have a price inside of your Facebook ad. Now this next section is city and state. This is what we are going to tell Facebook to send your city location to in the country, which will also work if you want to do a local zip code to target a zip code for instance, like 9286. 9 is a local zip code for me and this will post into that local city specifically. If not, you want to type in the entire city um, and state information completely so we do not confuse the Facebook system on what location you are going to be retrieving. And this will normally work to pull your direct city. If you notice that your city is not posting there, then you need to change this information to be something more direct. If you're having a problem with uh, that setting on your own, feel free to reach out to our support department and we'll help solve it for you. So moving on, the postal code box is only necessary for Craigslist. So this is a box that our system needs to register the ad. So once again, fill in your title, your price, your proper city and state location, your zip code, and this keyword box here, if you can see in gray, it says keywords for CL search optimization. This is only specifically for Craigslist. If you put words in here and you post these ads on Facebook, they will show up in a funny uh, source code optimized way that's specifically for search engine relevance on your Craigslist ads. So by all means, use that for Craigslist ads that you'll be posting specifically there as well. Um, the body, we can just make a simple ad and uh, copy the title and just paste in the body. This is a great spot to put all your uh, business information or I should say ad information. You do not want to put your phone number inside of this box. Facebook can and will penalize you eventually because you are taking traffic off of their system and directing it directly to your own phone line. So they cannot prove their value when they cannot track the entire sale through their direct messaging system. So I would advise not to put your phone number inside of this field. So moving forward, we'll finish with selecting a condition of the ad. Um, and also these are links for including in your uh, Craigslist section for others to contact you so these can be ignored. Um, the other major thing that has to be done for the ad is uploading an image. So when you upload an image, uh, let's go ahead and find one here. You, uh, Facebook ad must have an image. We have a default placeholder image that will show up that says image is coming soon, but this will uh, be registered as a very duplicate image if you don't plan on uploading photos. So the uniqueness of your photo should be one photo per ad or two photos per ad or four photos per ad. But you want to make sure each ad is completely unique. So once again, make sure you have one photo selected for the ad. And let me just go ahead and grab a uh, photo here that will sync with this ad. So I'll, I got one here loaded and you can check that by clicking preview. You can see a preview of your ad here and you're good to go. So let's move forward now that we have that done. We can go ahead and click save on the ad. 
So now that the ad is saved, we'll see it appear in your list. Um, this will appear at the bottom of mine. You can see Costa Mesa, California. Here's the advert. And anytime you want to change anything on the advert, simply click edit. And this will pull up all the fields and you would then just click save once more. So let's go ahead and make a ad campaign for Facebook specifically. So what you'll do is click on campaign manager and on the right hand side here click on new campaign the top blue button. Once this pulls up you will give your campaign a name. Let's give this campaign a name. Now what I should make a point of is a great way of making your campaigns is actually putting Monday FB campaign and let's just go with this format actually. So what this will do it will signify to you that these are your ads that you're specifically running for Monday. So let's take a few of these ads that we've created starting from the one that we just made and we will go ahead and select a few ads from the list that are for different categories, um, different things that we can be posting. So once we've selected some ads you then have to select a location by default. This can be any location this is specifically for Craigslist city posting which you'll see all the cities in the country listed here for Craigslist but Facebook is directly a result of your ad when we are editing it that is in this box right here this is where your Facebook location will come from okay so let's get back to the campaign here uh, I'll just select the first one in the list because it doesn't matter so I've given the ad a campaign a title I've highlighted my adverts, I've selected a default city, and I'm going to go ahead now and click Save. So now, back in Campaign Manager, at the bottom we'll see Monday FB Campaign. So let's go ahead and run this campaign. So what I'm going to do is highlight the campaign, and we have some options over here. Title Randomizer, Description Randomizer, Image Randomizer, Watermark on Images, and Enable Facebook Auto Deletion. So I recommend that for Facebook posting, you use the image randomizer and you use enable Facebook auto deletion. This is an amazing function of our software that will go back in and remove the last version of the advert that we posted. So let's just say last Monday we posted this ad here, all queen sets 50 to 80% off. When we are now posting it this time, it will actually go into the camp, your selling section on Facebook remove the previous one and post the new one. This is going to stop you from getting duplicate content on your system and getting penalized by Facebook and keep you in a very good standard with their selling uh, marketplace. So now that we've explained that let's go back to this campaign and let's go ahead and run the campaign. So I will have it highlighted I will be using image randomizer and enable Facebook deletion and I will select the websites. You can run LetGo and Facebook at the same time. It will be using your Facebook information to log into your LetGo account. And a quick side note is when you are posting on LetGo, the local IP address of your phone or computer device is where your ads will be posting to on LetGo. They are a, using a geo-targeting system based off your IP address that cannot be manipulated inside of our software like Facebook can be. LetGo is their own system that runs on your IP address of your local location. If you want to mimic the location you can use a proxy software before posting on LetGo with our system. So let's stay on track here and continue our Facebook marketplace campaign. So now I'm going to go ahead and click start and I can choose an interval between my ads uh, for sake of this test, let's just use a one minute interval. The software is normally on 15 minutes, which is a fair amount of time between your posting. So I'm going to go ahead and start the campaign. And as you see, the software is logging in and is able to go into the selling section and will now search for this first ad, all queen sets 50 to 80% off. And it will find and remove that advert before it posts the new one. So as you can see, the software is now scanning through my ads on my system. It has now reached the bottom, and now we'll 
find that title string through a harvesting on the page and if it does it will remove that ad and we'll see it post the new one. So as you can see it just found the advert and removed it if you saw that little pop-up show up and now that we've removed the ad it's going to now start posting the fresh one. So see where it typed in the city information there? That is inside your advert and that is what you will need to manipulate if you are for some reason getting the wrong location because it is on the system. And uh, as a note, you can see the H2 title tag in that string. That is what will happen to Facebook if you have keywords in the optimization line inside of the advert that I showed you below the title field. So that's why this will work great on Craigslist, but not here. Now you can see the system is now posting and finalizing the ad. And as you can see in the software, it will be marked as posted and waiting one more minute for the next ad. So I think that covers all the material that I wanted to go over with all of our new customers and existing customers today if there's any questions. So please feel free to reach out to our support if there's any further questions on this. And happy hunting and posting. Thank you.